Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Mary Urquhart and I'm a planetary scientist and science educator here at the University of Texas at Dallas. I'm excited to share information with you today on how you can observe the upcoming total solar eclipse on April 8th, 2024, right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Last October, you may have seen the annular solar eclipse that moved across Texas. Here in the DFW Metroplex, we had a beautiful day and an excellent view of this partial solar eclipse with about 80% of the sun covered by the moon. This is a good warm up, but a total solar eclipse is a very different experience than a partial eclipse. I experienced a total solar eclipse in Tennessee in 2017. We are incredibly fortunate here in the DFW area. Most of us are in the path of the total solar eclipse and won't need to travel anywhere to experience it. The next total eclipse visible anywhere in the United States but Alaska won't happen until 2044, and there won't be another one near Texas until 2045. This makes the April 2024 total solar eclipse a must-see event. But you and those you care about need to take some precautions. Staring at the sun can cause serious eye damage. So how can you safely observe this solar eclipse? First, know that you can safely observe a solar eclipse with or without any special equipment. If you use eclipse glasses or viewers, make sure you have ones that meet the current international standard. Some of you might remember the problem with counterfeit solar eclipse glasses for the 2017 solar eclipse being sold through online vendors. Watch out for fake certifications and approvals, such as those claiming to be from NASA. Don't worry. If you don't have access to eclipse glasses or viewers, you can still safely observe the eclipse. If you don't have certified glasses, you can still watch the eclipse without looking at the sun. All you need to view a solar eclipse indirectly is something to act as a pinhole projector. The leaves of trees can serve this purpose. So can your fingers, or a hole punched in a card, or even a colander. You can also use a special indirect solar viewer called a sunspotter, use a telescope or binoculars to project an image of the sun, or make a pinhole viewer out of a cardboard box. Please don't use a camera, a telescope, or a binoculars to look directly at the sun without a solar filter specifically designed for use with them. If you buy such a filter, look for the certification just as you would with eclipse glasses. Remember, it's never safe to look directly at the disk of the sun during a solar eclipse or on any other day. You'll also need the same sun protection, such as sunscreen or a hat, that you'd usually use outside on an average sunny day. During eclipse totality, when the moon completely blocks the bright light from the sun, is the only time it's safe to look up without a solar filter and see the faint solar corona, the outermost part of the sun's atmosphere. The solar corona is always there. It's just too faint to see next to the sun's light. Just before and after totality, that brief time when the moon completely blocks the sun, you may notice shadows starting to look strange. During totality, you'll also notice the sky becoming dark enough to see stars and planets with twilight all around the horizon. Animals, including insects, also react to the changing light. Once totality is over, you'll need to go back to using your protective equipment like eclipse glasses or viewers or your indirect viewing methods. Because the timing of solar eclipses varies by location, it's important to check when totality will happen where you are and be prepared for it. One of my favorite websites for checking times and locations of both solar and lunar eclipses is timeanddate.com. We'll include the timeanddate.com link for this eclipse, information on buying eclipse glasses, and more in the show notes. There's always a chance of clouds or stormy weather in the spring here in North Texas, but it's still worth it to go outside. You'll be able to observe the changes in the environment, especially during totality. You'll also be able to see the eclipses from live streams from NASA and others along the eclipse path. Just remember, don't use the live streams to time totality at your location. I hope you and your family have the opportunity to experience our area's upcoming rare and exciting celestial event. We at UTD and UTD's Geoscience Studio are excited to help share information about the solar eclipse and so much more with our community. Check out our UTD Geoscience Studio YouTube channel to learn more about Earth science and to look for future videos.